What's up guys, Artemis Mate Analysis here, going to be talking about some Dana White's contender series that have been made. I'm going to be talking about three fights that have been made in the time since I last made a video. I do believe that I'm the number one news source for Dana White's contender series on YouTube right now, so do hit a subscribe if you are interested in more content like this. I get my source from Sean Bitter for two of these fights, Sean Bitter, he uh, broke on cage side press that Kaylee Cowan will be fighting Claudia Elite, and Charles Johnson will be fighting Shannon Ross. Shannon Ross is from Australia. Very exciting fight there, and MMA Void, I reposted Tidy MMA, who is also posting a lot on Twitter about Dana White's contender series, that William Souza will be fighting Farid Basharat, and that's the first fight I'm going to look at right now. William Souza, 11-1, young guy, 25 years old, and he is a bantamweight, which is worth noting here because Farid Basharat, 8-0, but he's got listed as a featherweight, but I'm going to assume that he's a bantamweight because he's five foot six. And William Souza is only five is five foot eleven, so he's gonna be a big advantage on the on the height for William Souza. And he has fought relatively decent levels of competition as well. Um he's fought Andre Muniz, but not the Andre Muniz you're thinking of. But um, most of his record really has been built up of debuting guys or guys with not the greatest records. But he was tested in his last couple of fights against a guy that was eight and two and a guy that was five and two and he won those two fights by KO. So he definitely has shown and he's got some skills there and that he potentially could be UFC level, but he's gonna have to be tested against Farid Basharat, Javid Basharat's brother. And Javid won Dana White's contender series last year and now he is in the UFC. And both of these two brothers have uh, relatively suspicious records, but Javid did say that's because um, in the country that they live, it is very hard to find matchups. And you know what, I can't believe that. Um, one good win that Farid Basharat does have is over Marco Zanetti when he was 5-0. and And then he did beat a 16-8 and guy when he was 6-0. and So he has actually kind of been fighting a couple of good levels of competition there. And most of the time he is winning these fights pretty quickly. Like an 11-second KO over Stuart Eskin. An 11-second rear naked choke over a guy with a losing record there. And he went undefeated as an amateur as well. So he definitely got power in the hands. Very well-rounded fighter in Farid. William Souza, I mean, pretty good striking. I mean, most of this guy's wins are by KO. So, um, it's going to be a great fight, I reckon. Claudia Leite versus Hayley Cowan. I did say I feel like um, if Hayley Cowan is going to get a, a um, contract, she really is going to have to win this fight very, very convincingly because Hayley Cowan has mostly re recently lost to a girl that was 1-2. and two. And, um, you know, like, she just hasn't really proven herself, in my opinion, on the on the, uh, on the the regional scene to be USC level yet. Claudia Leite, though, she's actually meant to have a fight scheduled with a girl that has a split decision loss to, um, um, to Valentina Shevchenko and Sarah Kaufman, where she was uh, predicted to lose, but that fight ends up getting cancelled. Now she's getting the Dana White's Contender Series call-up. Once again, she hasn't really fought... High level competition, I guess, but she does have a win over a girl that was 12 and 8 a couple uh, about last year. So I guess she's kind of been um, testing herself. I feel like the women's bantamweight division, though, has got a lot of fighters in it. So I feel like either of these two girls are going to have to put on a great performance if they want a contract because the women's bantamweight division is very stacked right now and there's a lot of fighters in it. It's the same as, um, actually, no, sorry, the women's bantamweight division is the one that doesn't have many fighters in it. So the winner probably will get um, a contract, to be fair. But on the other hand of uh, flyweight, men's bantamweight, sorry, men's bantamweight is stacked as well, so these two are going to have to put on a good performance as well. As for the men's flyweight division though in the UFC, they need more flyweights, and I feel like the winner of this fight, Charles Johnson, who is 11-2, the uh, LFA champion right now, most recently defeated Carlos Malta, is taking on Shannon Ross, the Australian, who is 13-5 record, he's coming off a 1-1, and to be honest man, it's really now or never for Shannon Ross to get himself into the UFC. Um, he most recently lost to Steven Arsig, and Steven Arsig is going to be fighting on Dana White's Contender Series as well. He got a win over Donovan Freelow, and now he's on Dana White's Contender Series. And he just hasn't fought for a couple of years. It seems like a lot of fights have been falling out, so it's a good opportunity for him to get a contract in an international promotion and then uh, move on with his career from there where he can fight a lot more guys. Um, but I'm going to be picking Charles Johnson. I feel like this is just not the greatest matchup for Shannon Ross here. Charles Johnson really has been tested against a lot of great fighters. He's um, obviously got like that boxing background. I mean, like he's lost a lot of boxing fights, but he's been in there with boxing guys. And his whole record really kind of has been built up against the much higher level competition, in my opinion. I think it's going to show, man. Like, you really can respect that from uh, Charles Johnson. He's also been in there um, 
with Carlos Hernandez, actually. Carlos Hernandez, I was about to say, also has a UFC uh, contract and just won a split decision. A victory in Ultimate which I thought he lost. Uh, but hey, it is what it is, man. Um, anyway, like, Charles Johnson, I think, is going to win. It's worth noting that um, Charles Johnson fighter set for August the 2nd and Hayley Cowan fighter set for August the 16th. So uh, keep that in mind for that's kind of when the fights are going to be July and August. So we're looking forward to it. And um, yeah, that's all, that's, it. that's all I've got to talk about in this video, man.